Jay, let me bring up, an, uh, let me play a clip from you from the panel because you brought up the other major issue that we haven't talked about too much here, which is that the censorship machine that was silencing guys like you or, or virtually anyone that was outside of mainstream group think on this uh, kind of went all the way up to the top, big tech, government, et cetera, et cetera. Take a look. I think the centrally important issue that caused the problems is that we silenced people from expressing their thinking qualified people from expressing their thinking. And as a result, the decision making at the top of the, of, the, of the country was absolutely abysmal. Jay, I suspect you agree with that guy. <laughs> well, first of all, I should have combed my hair. My mom, my mom commented, <laughs> so, uh, but that's another thing. Um, yeah, I think, uh, uh, I, I think that, that, that's, that, that science, you know, it, it doesn't work unless, you're, unless you have freedom. Uh, you know, you you have scientific cultures that try to mo uh, sort of mimic science. Like I, I like I think like what happened to science in the Soviet Union. You had one man, Trofim Lysenko, who decided that uh, Mendelian genetics was wrong. Uh, now I'm like intruding in your area, Brett. Um, and then and then um, and then like he throws all of the Mendelian geneticists into Siberia, and a huge ge a generation of of of, of uh, Russians starve because of the stupid science that they're doing. Right, but it wasn't science. So he was playing at science. Science can only happen and can only occur when there isn't that censorship. Because who controls it? It's going to be the powerful people that control the censor, who control what you can or can't say. And it doesn't matter if they're right or wrong. It just matters that they're powerful. S science needs to have David and Goliath stories all the time. All the time. Like it needs to have people at the top being overthrown in their ideas by the young Turk you know, mathematician who's like, no, Jay, you, 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 you're, you're wrong, and then I'm wrong because I'm, it's just that's the way the, what the evidence says. Um, and, and you can't have that unless you have free speech. Brett, bring us home. Well, uh, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, Jay. You fix the incentives, you fix the system, and I agree with that, but it's a long-term proposition. And the reason is akin to what happens if you have a... Let's say you have a neurotic cat who's afraid of strangers and it hides under the bed when strangers come over, right? How do you teach the lesson that the strangers aren't actually a problem? Because the cat's always under the bed when the strangers are there. And if you drag the cat out from under the bed, you increase its terror. So it thinks it's really hiding from something real. You've got an entire, an entire system populated by people who have now actually survived because they did conform and say things that actually hurt other people. So training them that this is the moment to reverse that instinct is not going to work over a short period of time. They're going to have to be replaced. And again, the problem is there aren't enough people left in the system who understand how science is supposed to work to teach a new generation, right? That is, that is a critical problem, and it's not one I hear discussed very frequently. 